What type of hire did the Eagles just make, Sarah? Uh, it feels risky to me, and it feels unnecessary to make the hire right now. I know there's always concern in this league that if you don't go out and get your guys, somebody else might. But this is not a name that we've heard. And there are so few open head coaching positions left that I don't need, that you need to go out and make this when you could still have the opportunity to interview other folks. Uh, very limited sources speaking out about him so far. But from what we've heard, the expectations aren't super high. The offense wasn't that fantastic. Again, he wasn't calling the plays. Uh, to me, it feels like there's always going to be a concern, especially with everything that just went down at the end of that season for the Eagles, that the people above the head coach are using the coach as a bit of a puppet. And when you have someone that doesn't have a big name and a big reputation coming in, that's, of course, a, a concern. There's a lot to be figured out for this Eagles team. Will he have the authority to make decisions and to influence players and to have everybody feel like he's the man for the job on a team that – is still, in theory, could be within their Super Bowl window Nick if they Sirianni, get figured out. Nick Sirianni, the Eagles' choice for head coach, for, uh, Kevin Black is stone. What do you think of the hire? Um, not too much. I'm not familiar with him, and I thought that was an interesting critique that Sarah just served up on him, saying that he didn't necessarily call the plays. Well, that's one of the criticisms of Eric Bieniemy at Kansas City, that he doesn't necessarily call the plays of that fantastic offense that it's really all of Andy Reid's doing. And so maybe that's why he's not the hottest candidate that we've made him out to be. It's more of the same from the NFL. That's what jumps out to me. It's not about who he is, but it's who he is not. Once again, the NFL has reached down the ladder to pull up a white coach um, to make, a, make into a head coach when it seems like there are some candidates of color uh, with much better resumes. Mm -hmm. And Jackie McMullen, Sirianni for the Eagles. Right, and, and you had some hope, KB, didn't you, that maybe the uh, Eagles would choose one of those coaches of color that you're talking about. For instance, Todd Bowles, who they did interview, who was already a head coach with the Jets and is doing a great job for Tampa Bay on the defensive side of the ball. My guess is the reason they're not leaning to a guy, guy like Todd Bowles is the biggest question for Sirianni or any coach that takes over this team is, who's your quarterback? Which one do you choose? Are you going to wait till you see them both? And I'm guessing that's some of the line of questioning that went on in these, this interview process. And, and maybe that's why the Eagles lean towards him, because maybe he had the answers they like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I mean, the Carson Wentz is the biggest issue with this team. That was yeah. the downfall, you would say, of Doug Peterson among some uh, considerations. But I, I want to mm -hmm. land on one thing. I heard from Blackstone and heard from Spain as well. Just because maybe he's not a known name or the NFL or, or that you have heard of the guy, we have heard of the guy, that doesn't mean it's a bad hire. Sarah Spain, back to you. No, not at all. Um, but mm -hmm. to, to KB's point, like, if we are going to try to drum up any logical reasons for the majority of players in the league to be black and the majority of coaches by far to not be, then we run out of ways to excuse it other than just the things that we already know, which is white people are in charge and then they hire people that look like them or remind them of them. And, and I, I do think it's meaningful to say that if we've never heard about this guy and he's never been a name thrown around as someone that's gonna be in the mix, there's probably a reason for that. Maybe they're smarter than everyone. Maybe they got out ahead and this was a well-kept secret, but it's more likely that people are looking and digging deeper and deeper down into pipeline than going for people that for whatever reason, they don't feel teams have had success going deeper and deeper. I think you recall John Harbaugh was a special teams coach when he was hired. Joe Judge was a special teams coach. Teams have had much success hiring the offensive coordinator of the hottest team in football, which is what Eric Bieniemy is. And I just want to say this as we go back to you, Kevin Blackstone. It's never just about one name, right? It shouldn't be no. about one name. It should never be about one interview. I mean, when they play on Sunday, it's not going to come down to which coach is the best interview. So with six of the seven jobs being filled right now in this cycle, what position is the NFL in? They're in a horrible position. USA Today pointed out um, a few days ago that since 1990, there have been 327 head coaches and GMs hired in this league. Forty, just 40, were black or brown uh, candidates who got those jobs. You know what? You mentioned the problem in Philadelphia is the quarterback problem, correct? Well, mm -hmm. what about Byron Leftwich? who's been doing a hell of a job in this league right now, played the, played the position um, in this league, was a star at, at this position um, at Marshall. 
um, mm -hmm. did heroic things there at that position. What about him? What about reaching down and grabbing up and grabbing one of the black coaches who have done incredible jobs in college, as we've seen um, done in the NFL in the past couple of years? David Shaw is not a candidate for a professional yeah. football job. You got to be kidding me. So the NFL has a lot to answer to. And you know what? I, I'm not really holding out any hope that they can get these things changed on their own. I think these are changes that can be brought about at the point of bayonet. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.